hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel times have changed and surely um, reactions to events are also changing as the for the very first time uh, the senator or the lawmakers have decided they've made up their mind on what condition otherwise they are definitely impeaching the president but before we go to the newspaper to find out what is that condition they need to get or else they'll do the need for and of course the warnings what uh, where the united states had won nigerians over what may likely before them as of five years ago is almost coming to pass and we're taking a date backwards into history to give us a full detail of what they said concerning nigeria and the leadership style that we are currently seeing today before we go to the newspaper I'll like it subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you will see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on youtube well a federal lawmaker as a Thursday, said the National Assembly will move to impeach President Muhammad Buhari if the executive does not act on its security resolutions. The House of Representatives on a win on Wednesday inaugurated a four-man committee to find a solution to the country's security challenges. The committee is set to hold a four-day security summit in May. While speaking on channel's television, the lawmaker representing just South and just East just his federal constituency that's Dochong Bagos said impeachment processes will be initiated if the summit's resolutions are not acted upon by the executive if the executive had implemented 30 percent of the resolution and advice the national assembly has been given i can assure you we, we couldn't have reached this level he said instead he added the inse insecurity issue has been politicized by the executive he described the summit as the last result after the summit if nothing is done brainstorming spending resources to bring us solutions if the executive does not do anything after some months then definitely we will call for the resignation of the president he said we have the power to impeach the president if he can no longer secure the lives and properties of nigerians uh, sir would you respect sir you wait for months with things that are happening like this you still need to wait for months you will first of all do resolution, now give it to executive. You will now wait for months to see if they will now do it before you now, now wow, the way is very, very far. But let's find out what, what the president, the uh, United States, had told Nigerians about five, exactly five years ago that Nigerians are now reacting and screaming all over. While insecurity in Nigeria today is becoming more alarming as terrorism and banditry continue to cause havoc in the country. Many lives have been lost, many people have been displaced, and many innocent people have become victims of abduction today. Nigeria's security agencies are not excluded from these uh, chaos coming from all sorts of terrorists and bandits. Every citizen continues to live with fear in their own fatherland. The government of Nigeria is looking for ways to end the rate of insecurity in the country. The question is, where are all these problems coming out from? How did these criminal elements grow so fast under our watch? Where are they going to start from as tension continue to rise in the country? It was recalled six years ago during World Economic Forum, WEF, held in Davos, Swaziland, when John Kerry, the former U.S. Secretary of State, warns Nigeria, Nigerian government on what corruption could create if not tackled properly. Kerry talked about how President Muhammad Buhari has come to rescue Nigeria from being collapsed as a result of corruption which has weakened the armed forces from fighting Boko Haram. When Nigerian President Buhari took, of, of, took office last spring, he inherited a military that was underpaid, underfed and unable to protect the Nigerian people from Boko Haram. And one reason is that much, much of the military budget was finding its way into the pockets of the generals. And just this week, we saw re reports that more than 50 people in Nigeria, including former government officials, stole $9 billion from the Treasury. Still in the United States, my friends, we continue to prosecute corruption and we live with a pay-to-play campaign finance system that should not be wished on any other country in the world. I used to be a prosecutor and I know how hard it is to hold people in position of public responsibility accountable, but I also know how important it is. The fact is there is nothing, absolutely nothing more demoralizing, more destructive, more disempowering to any citizen than the belief that the system is rigged against them and that the people in position of power are, to use a diplomatic term of art, 
crooks who are stealing the future of their own people and by the way dispositing their ill-gotten gains in sub sustainable legitimate financial institutions around the world corruption is a social danger because it feeds organized crime it destroys nations and states it impairs opportunities particularly for women and girls it facilitates environmental degradation contributes to human trafficking and undermines whole communities it destroys the future corruption is a radicalizer because it destroys faith in legitimate authority it opens up a vacuum which allows the predators to move in and no one knows that better than the violent extremist groups who regularly use corruption as a re recruitment tool based on what john kerry the former u.s secretary to, to the state analyzed about the corruption could result to it's quite obvious and clear now that corruption has created terrorism banditry and other criminal elements that we are seeing today this is the truth well that's what you have seen it all you've heard what um, the secretary of state of the uh, united states that was some some years back approximately five years how corruption has a trickle down effect to what we are seeing now if um, the people believed in the activities of the government if there have been no lutocracy everywhere if the people as the budget and it is being used judiciously there won't be you know disgruntlement everywhere now every sector of the economy anyone who enters a particular sector of the economy looks at loopholes to cash out because after all those are the hems of affair is assumed they're also doing the, ne the need for so it's as if the whole nation and the, the whole treasury is now a thing of national more and more a national kick everybody come in take it lutocracy is now the order of the day now who is holding who accountable and that's what he's trying to say in a nutshell that this whole thing we're seeing that they have watched in silence watch how uh, the leadership have been you know taking away the nigerian dream killing it via the activities of corruption and for what it's just a matter of time and that same corruption is what they will feed the angry youth and say look at your future is being looted away and with that alone you see anger in the heart and the heart of the nigerian youth and you see them either carrying arms or you see them either looking for a, a, a protest that will be you know uh, will be will be nationwide felt Today that we have the likes of Mazen now, the kind of likes of Sunday Buhu, is actually born out of the fact that there's a lot of corruption going on at the hands of affair, and I give voice to those who are disgruntled. It may be it may be a bitter pill to swallow, but definitely it's the truth. It's a fact staring us in the face that we have refused to acknowledge. And now even the people out there five years ago had pointed this out, and it is beginning to germinate. It has broke that's giving birth to grown children in form of banditry and all that. Well, that's how we're going to wrap it up. What do you say? Finally, the our lawmakers are thinking of impeaching the presidency the president if they do not act if the executive do not act on the resolution given and they'll be waiting for months to do that let's be